what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jana if you're new here and today my video is how I do my makeup so I just got ready I'm going to the doctor going to the mall doing some Christmas shopping so I just wanted to record a video and literally put it out in the same day so hopefully all goes well but this is the makeup look I don't really know what to do, but um, this is my everyday makeup routine. Very simple, easy. It usually takes me about 15 minutes, which is very nice, especially if you're on the go. Um, I think it's also a really good um, routine for like a beginner if you're just starting to like get into makeup or you um, want to try something new. This is also a good routine. It just I have a few little tips and tricks that I do um, every single day, but um, I don't know. I have been wearing makeup literally since like middle school, freshman year of high school, and it's just something that I've like kind of become accustomed to and it's pretty easy for me to do but like I said it's pretty quick and easy I'm going a little bit slower in the video just because I'm like kind of talking a lot and typically when I'm getting ready I'm not talking at all I'm just like listening to music and chilling but um yeah so this is very simple easy everyday makeup look so if you want to see how I created this just keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do to start off doing my makeup um, is I grab a washcloth, a dry washcloth, and I also get my Beauty Blender wet or damp. So the reason I have this washcloth is because um, I, <laughs> instead of like cleaning my brushes like every time I use them, what I do is, for example, I take my foundation brush when I'm done with it and try to get off as much of the product as I can and that way there's not like a bunch of bacteria building up there's not a bunch of like um, just like makeup in general building up in the brush and getting like clumpy down in there I that grosses me out so the first thing that I'm gonna do in this makeup look is foundation so I use the Maybelline fit me foundation in the matte and poreless and I'm the shade 120 so what I do is I um, shake it up get the ball rolling and then I take my foundation brush and just just like this so I start in circular motions but then I start blotting it up and then you can take more as needed. And just literally put it everywhere. And make sure you get your jawline with the foundation as well because it looks tacky it's not. I probably make the funniest faces when I do my makeup but who doesn't so I typically just do my cheeks and my eyes first because that's the area that usually takes the most product and then I kind of work my way in and up so I do this because if I get too much product on my makeup brush, I can just kind of drag it over to the spot that it needs to be in, but um, that didn't really happen this time. So then I just go over here, and like for everything, I just pull it a little bit down past what you can see. Um, this is about a medium coverage. Um, foundation I don't like anything too full because then it looks cakey too light doesn't cover what I like so it doesn't give me enough coverage so um, a medium coverage foundation is the one that's for me and the brush that I'm using is the um, real techniques expert face brush and I really like this a lot 
it's really soft and just like really gets the job done so the last thing that I do I pull all my excess little baby hairs back and just go over it like this now seriously my makeup look does not take that long I mean today it might take a little bit longer just because um, I'm talking while I'm doing it so I'm a little distracted but usually it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes and that's like not rushing or anything that's just how it be so that's done like I said I'm gonna take the foundation brush and um, literally just get as much of the foundation off that I can and the only, I keep looking over because um, I have a doctor's appointment at 1 15 it's 1 30 and I'm just now deciding to get ready so the next thing I do is I take that damp beauty blender and just blot my face with it. And what this does for me is it just takes away any um, lines and wrinkles that the um, foundation may have put on. So it just basically, I don't know if that even made sense, but it basically just like smooths out the foundation and makes it look pretty seamless and just kind of seeps it into your skin a little bit more so it doesn't give it that cakey look so um i just stamp my beauty blender with like cold water it doesn't really matter i don't think what um water temperature it is and i just do that all over and it gives it like a really um flawless finish kind of um and then i also wipe this off on the um washcloth then the next thing I do is I take this air spun um, loose face powder and I just put a little bit into the um, the cap so I just do a little bit like this just like that then I take this eco tools full powder brush and I just really set it in there and then just swivel it all over my face. This is probably like doing foundation and powder is probably the most time consuming thing for me just because I like to make sure all areas are set and um, that I didn't miss anything. I have really I swear I've said this already on my channel like a million times but I typically have really oily skin so I have to make sure that literally everywhere especially through here is set so that there's no oil and grease shining through so the next step that I do is bronzer and this is a little um tricky for me because I take two brushes um, I take this Morphe brush and this, I do, it literally does not even have anything on it. I don't know. I probably got it at like Walgreens or something. So the first thing I take is this one. It's kind of sculpted. I take the Hula, Benefit Hula bronzer and I just kind of swivel it around a little bit. Tap off, tap off the excess and then I pull my hair back again and just kind of sculpt my forehead really quickly. And then I just kind of roughly do that I mean there's no for me there's no perfect rhythm to sculpting my forehead then I will take a little bit more on it and go over my eye lid and this is my secret to looking like you have a little bit of um, something going on on your eyelid even when you don't wear eyeshadow because I'm not going to wear eyeshadow today and I typically don't because I just like for it to be kind of a natural look. So I just kind of dab it on there just like that. I mean you can add more as needed but it just kind of gives me like a little, I don't know, it kind of darkens my eyebrow or my eyelid up a little bit and then I just go over my nose like that. And then a little bit on the jawline. I don't really think that this does much putting it on my jawline. But I just do it. Just for fun. Next thing I do is take this Morphe brush. It's M4. 
4.38. I am not a makeup guru. I should have said that to begin with. But I just... I like makeup and I like to practice with it. So I kind of know a little bit what I'm doing. Then I take... I suck in my cheeks like this. And do this. Just in swiveling motions. Like circular motions. Literally that's all I need. Same thing for this side. Now the good thing I found about this brush is that since it is so small, it does a good job of not making that very um, thick. Um, it just kind of blends it out really nice and I'll kind of go over my nose again and that's literally all I do with the bronzer. But the next thing I do is blush and I kind of go all out on blush just because I think it really gives your face some color so I use this Milani brush <laughs> Milani blush in the shade T Rose I just take a Bobbi Brown blush brush literally swivel it in there so much and then smile find where your little cheek is and go Circular motions once again. I do like to focus this right here for just a second. Just to make sure that it's not all tacky and like going all over my face. I mean it looks a little intense right now. But once we add highlighter it will kind of calm down too. Same thing for this side. Just kind of all over. And then I like to dip it back in here. Do my eyelids. And a little bit on my nose. The next blush that I take, I'm telling you, I go all out on blush, is the Too Faced Love Hangover Blush. And it looks like this. It's just very, very, very rosy. <laughs> so I just use literally the bare minimum of it and go over. Focusing it a little bit more up here. It looks very intense right here, but I promise it's going to even itself out. And if it doesn't, there's an easy way to correct that too. I took a little bit of that on my eyelids as well, on my nose. Done with that. Next thing I do is the Milani um, highlighter, and it's in the shade Strobe Light. I take a... Eco Tools brush. I think it's just a random one. I don't think it has a name. Oh, it does. <laughs> it says Precision Highlight. I take that. Just go right on top of the top of that blush. The very tip top part of it. My nose. My cupid's bow. And then I'll take a little bit on top of my um, eyelids as well. So if this is like very intense um, blush, all you have to do is take that original powder brush and sweep some of it away. But I mean, I personally like it, but sometimes I will come up and um, just clean it up a little bit. But I think it looks good for now. And like as the day goes on too, it fades. The next thing that I do is I brush my eyebrows up. All the way over. I can take my hair down now because it's not really in my face anymore. So the next thing, like I said, is eyebrows. And I'm at first going in with this Benefit Gimme Brow. I do the shade 5 because my hair is dark but my eyebrows are pretty light compared to my hair. So I'm going to take the shade 5, which... You'll see what it does. It just kind of fills in. You'll see. So I just take it. I start right here at the top part of my eyebrow. And just brush up. Now a lot of times there's... Oh my god, I'm getting a phone call. They can wait. Um, a lot of times there's, 
times there's excess on the tip of the little spoolie thing so you really want to focus that where your sparse areas are on your eyebrow so I just take that literally all the way down to the very end of my brow and fill in and this is just a gel it's not really gonna do that much it can give you a natural look if you like it um, do the same to the other I do like the natural look occasionally but I've just found that the next step really helps me um, have a more defined brow as well um, I think that makeup is really all about like experiencing or um, experimenting and just playing around with like what um, you like what products like work good for you because makeup is another thing that can really make your skin break out if like you're um, if the um, ingredients in it don't like match up with what your skin is used to so it's all trial and error like I know when I usually get a new makeup product I will come home and that night I will just test it out before I take my makeup off and get ready for bed so that's a good idea the next thing that I do I got I'm gonna let those dry just a little bit I am gonna take this Too Faced natural eyes palette and I go let's see I just use this small little like angled brush I don't even know how to show you literally very small um, just kind of tapered and I go into this dark brown shade called Sexpresso <laughs> I just kind of dab it on there and then do it under my eyelashes my bottom eyelashes and this can be as heavy or as light as you want it to be the more you get on the um, brush the lighter it can really like the lighter the pressure you can really put into it but this way I don't have to wear real eyeliner and it'd be annoying um, I just don't really like eyeliner anymore I used to always wear eyeliner but this way I just kind of have a faux eyeliner with eyeshadow and it's super easy clean up too which is nice so if you mess up all you have to do is just wipe it with like your finger or something so easy okay that's good for that just kind of gives your eyes a little dark look Next thing I do, the same palette, I take this really shimmery shade right here on this little, what is it called? A diffuse brush? I don't know. I don't really go about that. I just call them my own thing. It's kind of a flatter brush too, but thicker. And I literally take this and put it on the inner corner. Now here's a tip. Go in twice for a little bit more shimmer or use your finger and put it in this area and it'll show up really well for you. So I just use the brush just for sanitary and routine purposes. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see any of this because it's raining outside and I just really wanted to get a video up today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, next I take the Naked Petite Heat Palette and I take this little um, shimmery shade right here it's just kind of like a pearl opal shade again on another flat brush and a line I like follow my eyebrow with it and this is just gonna um, kind of sculpt your eyebrow and make it pop too so you can add as much or as less of this that you want depending on how much like I mean it's basically a highlighter is what I'm doing but you can add as much or as less of this that you want um, depending on the occasion or whatever so the next thing is I go in with this Anastasia chocolate brow powder duo and I literally only use the dark side and I take a little angled brow brush dip it in there a few times and I go over my eyebrows again where I think that they need to be a little bit darker so I start at the bottom just line 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 and freely just move up and if you touch back at the bottom it kind of pulls that product up as well 
So this is going to sculpt your eyebrows even more. So I go over the top where I need a little arch and follow that natural arch that I have and just bring it all the way down to the bottom and give it, I give it a little tip at the bottom. And then I like to brush it up. So I'm gonna look in this big mirror. And I typically try to steer clear of doing any up front because I kind of want that fade. Um, but yeah, this is just looking good for now. And this is another um, powder product, so you can go in with your finger and just adjust if you need to, if it got outside the line. So I'll do the same thing for this eyebrow. Start at the bottom and just work my way up to like those sparse areas that didn't really get touched by the um, gel that we used earlier. Do it like this and do that um i think that the bronzer is a really good trick for the eyeshadow like for your eyeshadow if you don't um if you really don't have time or you just are not good with eyeshadow i think it's a good idea i mean i'm decent with it but i just don't really like it that much anymore so next thing i do is i'm doing mascara so i go in with the montessori big lancome mascara and this is what the little spoolie looks like it's just pretty thick and very dark so i mean everybody knows how to put on mascara so i'm gonna put on my mascara and I'll probably just like kind of speed through this because I make literally the most ridiculous faces I've ever seen in my life. So I just kind of sort it the base and work its way out. Last but not least, we're done with those makeup products. I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing that I do is I take this Burt's Bees um, Tinted Lip Balm and it's in the shade Red Dahlia. Dahlia? And literally just like that. And this is the perfect, like, I mean, it's not so natural just because of the blush which I'm about to touch up real quick. But um, it's just really easy. And I think I only use like maybe 10 products like makeup wise. But it's just really easy and it works for me and it's super natural. And that's just something that I love is like what's natural for me. So that is basically it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And when Matt comes home for break, I am planning on doing a video with him where hopefully he will do my makeup. So it'll be a true test to see if he watches my videos or not and watches them all the way through. But like I said, thank you so much for watching my video. You can follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.